Nithinanam everyone, this is Priscilla. Welcome back to the Kundalini Yogini where I share all about traditional yoga, Ayurveda, and Hindu spirituality. Today I wanted to touch on a topic that I have been speaking to a lot of my peers about and they were saying, why don't you have a video about this on YouTube? This is something that needs to be talked about more. So let's get into it. Let's open this uh, controversial <laughs> can of worms uh, on the topic of psychedelic breaks on the path to enlightenment and are you ascending or are you just extremely ungrounded this is a question which i constantly have been meditating on over the years and i have to share that as a certified certified ayurvedic practitioner i have a really interesting lens on this because of seeing so many different uh, clients from all around the world, different backgrounds, etc., different age groups, I have noticed a pattern. And this is what I really want to share, and I find this really important to share about. I've noticed a pattern in the spiritual community amongst my people that I've directly worked with, but also amongst people that I have just interacted with being, you know, in the spiritual community on YouTube for a long time, as well as on TikTok and Instagram, and in real life here in, in Los Angeles, that I see a common thread of spiritual seekers at a very young age pursuing higher states of consciousness, usually along with the use of psychedelics. And what I see as a result of this in a lot of cases is an extreme ungroundedness, an extreme... Um, delusion in some cases and also sometimes and god forbid you know leading to a an actual psychotic break or a mental breakdown for for an individual as a as a medical professional and an ayurvedic practitioner i i have seen this play out for a lot of people and i think that there are two things that we need to address two things we need to talk about regarding this number one the focus on the upper chakras. A lot, a lot of people, especially when they're getting newly into the spiritual world, the mystical, they want to experience all these mystical things and have these cool experiences and you know visions and higher states of consciousness. So they put all of their energy into the upper chakras, especially third eye and crown, right? So they're doing all of these ascension practices, you know, third eye work, kundalini, meditation, etc. And usually, again, a lot of use of psychedelics and bypassing the lower chakras, the lower energies. You could also call this the, the work, the shadow work that needs to be done on the path for a reason. When we skip these stages and also these parts of ourselves, we're not only bypassing half of life, you know, the other half of life, the, the light and the darkness, but we're also really doing ourselves an incredible disservice because these are our centers of stability, structure, grounding, will, responsibility, determination, cultivating these energies cannot be skipped and when it is skipped, has a lot of negative effects because we're jumping into these elevated stages of consciousness without having actually taken the steps to get there. It's like we're having these, um, we're blasting off right into the cosmos without a parachute. We've done no preparation, so there's no chute on our back. And all of a sudden we're in this higher realms and having maybe astral experiences or really crazy mystical experiences or third eye awakening or connecting with higher beings. And while these are all beautiful in their own right, why so many people then have these experiences and go all of a sudden convert to Christianity and are like, that was demonic, or they get really freaked out or they have, like I said, an actual psychotic break is because a lot of times they skipped those steps. They skipped that work. They skipped actually getting their body and mind prepared 
to, to taste those things, to experience those things, to hold those states of consciousness, and to also have the wisdom and the discernment on how to navigate those things. They are not small energies, you know, they're not to be messed around with. And so having proper education, wisdom, and again, discernment when going down the path is quintessential, really, in my opinion. So that's one piece of advice I really, really wanted to share today with everybody here is that, and I'm not trying to judge at all. I'm not judging or calling anybody out, but what I am sharing is what I've observed. And being in this field for the last eight years, I I really feel we need to nourish the roots, guys. We need to nourish the roots. And you don't have to call it the lower chakras. This is how I refer to these parts of ourselves, these energies doing this groundwork, shadow work. Addressing the material and the human in us is so essential to have humbleness, to break the ego, to transcend the mind, to have true understanding and really have done the work internally to shed false beliefs, to shed fear programming, to shed our own uh, karma and limitations, and then be able to have that, carry that grace, that compassion, that wisdom with us as we experience these beautiful higher states of consciousness. I hope that's making sense. I hope I'm articulating this uh, in a clear way. The second point I wanted to address, point number two, is the use of psychedelics. Now, you guys might know from some of my old videos that I have done psychedelics. Um, I have my own experiences with them and I'm by no means uh, against them or saying they're completely wrong or whatever. What I am wanting to share is that the overuse of psychedelics also plays a huge role I see in these in these storylines and timelines play out for people that are in the community and are in our in our spiritual community, right? And when psychedelics are are used and especially excessively used while also interacting with these higher energies, higher chakras, all these things, right? there can be psychosis which develops for people and again because we're skipping all that groundwork all that grounding all that earth and water energy that we need to nourish us we're jumping into the ether we're jumping into the air and the vata the vata dosha again ayurvedic terminology but i see the vata dosha just taking people for a ride i see all of these young seekers that are just so hyper vata Physically, their body is getting really emaciated. They don't have nourishment. Their mind is super scattered. They they can't stay one place at a time. They're having a lot of um, profound experiences, but also sometimes delusions and um, and 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 sometimes in the worst cases, right, actual psychosis or mental breakdowns, hyper anxiety, hyperactive thoughts, um, energies attaching to them all of these things can happen um and again this isn't to put you in fear but this is again to have wisdom and discernment and i just have to share because i've seen it so much and i don't want it to keep happening and i hope that anyone listening to this um that this just helps just helps you you know avoid the same the same mistakes or that you know the same having to learn the same lessons in this way that some other people have and from what i've observed and so please just be careful be so discerning and wise about your energy. Please be very, very careful careful about use of substances, especially psychedelics. They're plant medicines, but they're not meant to be used excessively. They're not meant to be used in certain contexts. They're meant to be used if and when they're used with a lot of intention, a lot of connection to and humbleness and honor to the spirits that guide them and to nature. And they're not something that's supposed to be constantly utilized, right? We got to do the work. We can't skip the steps. Give yourself that grounding. Give yourself that kapha nourishment, that earth and water stability. Please do the work. Don't bypass. Don't try to jump into these states of consciousness so that we avoid having this ungroundedness in, in our communities and we can really be stable, spiritually mature, down-to-earth spiritual people, right? 
down to earth seekers that can understand they're part of the world, relate to the world, not think that they're above it and not get lost in the ether in the air, not get lost and zoom off into the Vata, um, the Vata space. So this is just my two cents I wanted to share with you today because I've had a lot of really fascinating conversations about this, again, with a lot of my peers and friends uh, in the community and we all see a lot of this. So please, um, please do the work. Don't skip the steps. Um, all of it is important. The earthly, the physical, the pain, the darkness, the shadow, it needs just as much, if not more, focus and addressing as does the ascension, the light, the mystical, the astral. So please, please remember that. Um, and if you have any particular questions about this topic, please let me know in the comments down below. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram, very active there. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love. If you need personal guidance, I do spiritual coaching as well as Ayurvedic consultations. So if you're struggling with any of these things at a, at a spiritual level, an emotional or mental level, or a physical level, I can help you with that. It's my specialty. It's my area of expertise. So please do connect with me uh, at uh, the link down below, tinyurl.com slash book Ayurveda. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care, everybody.